Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to video two in this series on getting started with Click Cloud, where I present realistic scenarios on how you can actually use this platform and easily use it. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to get back to your tenant in case you forgot the URL that was created for the trial. Now, the easiest way is to just go to your inbox when you registered and look at the email that says you're ready to use Click Cloud and click the button, go to Click Cloud. Pretty self-explanatory. It'll bring you directly to the URL that was created. But if you no longer have that email, you can just open up a browser and you can go to account.myclick.click.com. Fairly straightforward. Put in your email and password. And then you'll be brought to the MyClick console. And you can see that there is a drop down for tenants and there is your tenant. Now keep in mind this URL that is created is just for the trial. When you activate your subscription, you have the ability to change it to something that's more meaningful for your organization. So all I have to do here is click this to go to the tenant. One thing I want to point out is that you do have 50 available business licenses in the trial, so to speak. So in other words, you could invite up to 50 users for this particular trial for people to test. And we're going to talk about that in the next video when we talk about shared spaces. So I'm just going to click this link and you can see that I'm brought directly to my tenant where I can get started. One other thing to point out, you'll notice in the bottom right, there is a connect and learn icon. This connect and learn icon will provide you with a number of self-help resources for onboarding and learning. So if you want to go to our help site, you can do that by clicking help community and events, and then onboarding and learning. And there are a number of links here that will provide you with tours and other resources for learning the demos. For example, if I click tour of the hub, it's going to provide you with a call out that basically explains the different areas within the hub. So you have these resources as well that help guide you. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do in this particular video, showing you how to get back into the hub in case you forgot, which is a realistic scenario. I've seen it happen a number of times. In the next video, we're gonna talk about creating shared and managed spaces.